Hello K Tribe, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kem Tobea and this is my sister. All things African Nana. So in today's video I'm going to tell you why we left Nairobi and we moved we settled back in the countryside of Kenya. So currently we're in the area called Bonyekoma. So number one reason why I left Nairobi is because I was broke. And during this pandemic <laughs> Guys, I'm really sorry. When I'm in trouble or I'm sad, I train to laugh. Mm. <laughs> so it's because I was, I was broke. So many people have like uh, their main source of income. It has, um, it has been really affected during this pandemic. So many jobs have been lost, and in our family, like the main bread, bread, wine, mm. bread. <laughs> English teacher will come for me. Rusungu. Uh, she has lost like she's she has lost her job for like five months. She has gone on unpaid leave. So I decided to come back home to cut costs. Yeah, so yeah. So that's another reason why we came to to the farm areas. Me by the way I left the Nairobi because I was also broke by the way. I think I was also broke. Yeah. yeah. And the second one, what she's just told you guys. Yeah. And the third one, I just wanted to come and greet my grandmother mm -hmm. because Anna Nipenda. And the fourth one, me, I love following Kim Tobea everywhere. Hey, Let me just say the truth. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> be staying in Nairobi alone. <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm YouTube mate. Eh? Yes. So we needed to be together here mm -hmm. in Kisi and do vlogs. Yeah. And I was in the process of finding a new home because. Mm -hmm. I'm really thankful because of YouTube now like I ca I have like uh, how do you say have uh, have an earning but it's really not that good but it's not bad so mm. I was like someone was asking me why do I move all the time Kimuto is moving 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 mm. but sometimes you just have to use that uh, yes I'm gonna move Mm. That's the plan, mm -hmm. but sometimes you have to use like keywords so that people can click on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and literally we are moving here. At, at, I don't know until when, when things go back to normal because it's really bad, guys. And the other reason is because in our rural home we are so lucky. We have an ancestral home where my mom and my dad they build a home. Mm -hmm. They build a home which we can live like rent free mm -hmm. like this is our like we have like the farm where we can like get produce from so we rarely spend any money here mm -hmm. it's uh, like we are saving and then we are saving uh, for me i'll talk on my behalf mm -hmm. we are say uh, i came here just to because nairobi is such a busy busy in fact, it's a busy environment. It's, it's a busy environment and it's so depressing. Pollution. It's pollution. No, it's pollution. Like I felt my mental health was not being stable there. Here you and can see. to meditate. Yeah, here you can meditate. Like right now we are on the yard. Mm. We are on the yard just backyard of our house. Mm. Yeah, so of our home and it's really peaceful. And of course my mom is always here. Every year I must come home mm. at least once and then spend some time. But this year is different 2020 is such a it's such a difficult year i saw someone saying like uh, so i got so many comments from my subscribers saying that i see like kemuto you you actually thank you for showing us the rural side other influencers uh this is not shade i'm just saying <laughs> yeah, like, because i felt it also other influencers are traveling to staycation vacation it's like covid never hit them mm -hmm. And it's really true. And the truth of the matter, COVID like, have hit people in even me, both I was positive like, or negative. Oh my God, who's, who's like, I was trying, I was like, who's traveling like right now? Like, I don't know. That's, a, that's you're being blessed if you're traveling, actually. But uh, the reality of the many local Kenyans, like me, local citizen, like we are us. suffering. We are so suffering. If you S have a in home, capital letter. If you're mm. lucky, you have a home. You should always have plan B. If you're lucky, you have a your up country home. You go there. Actually, when I was little, I, I used to never like the okay, this danda. Should you continue another time? Yes. Mm. This danda mm. is gonna rain. We'll see you another time. Okay. 
cash shot. Subscribe, size. Subscribe, subscribe. So well, well. So today is the next. <laughs> that is the next day that we're going to go to the next day. So it's the next day early in the morning. We came here to finish this video. So basically the reason why we left Nairobi, I'll talk on my on my behalf because I don't want to offend. I may say I'm broke and I'm not comfortable. <laughs> But I'm broke. the cost of living is really high, by the way. Mm -hmm. They are because the landlords there they've not wavered the rent, by the way. People are living, are not living rent free. So Let's the rent say keeps where on. we live, they have not yeah. wavered. You know, others have done that. Eh? Guys, <laughs> if you live in Nairobi and your rent is wavered, mm. tell us down there. Mm. So yeah, so the rent is, you keep on uh, piling bills and bills and bills. So it's better you come live in the, for me, I chose, it's better I come and live in the village, village the countryside, the village. I don't know how you call it in your, um, in your country because I have like K-Tribe all over the world. Mm. Yeah, and I'm sorry guys if my English is not perfect. Uh, English is not my first language yes. <laughs> and I have to talk in English the little that I know because I have like subscribers all over the world watching me and I can't talk only Kiswahili guys yeah so that's a, that's the reason why we in left most, Nairobi. yeah Nairobi and actually I've, when I was little I never li really liked the countryside mm -hmm. my village because of you know when you were little we were stupid <sighs> not right. even little teenagers because when we were little we liked the countryside because of playing uh, but when we were teenagers we were like there is no wi-fi <coughs> there is no Internet. electricity okay oh by the way that time when we were growing up electricity was not here mm. but we are lucky enough with the kibaki <laughs> our, our previous oh, prep, former, president. former president made sure that rural sure electrification is yeah so got lucky on that mm. so the only thing the only downside with the work i do like you know guys i'm a full-time youtuber the only downside is the internet the wi-fi so i have to buy like the bundles, bundles for safaricom they really eat up when i upload Way. videos they really That's eat classic. it up right. yeah but, <laughs> but we, we have try. to do what we have to do to get the content out to you guys and Thank you so much for the guys who really like my videos. You, you, many of you subscribe when I first like uh, shoot the why I'm moving to Africa. Why I'm moving to Africa, the Nini. You guys really love that video. Many of you subscribe because of that video. So, <laughs> so I really love he I love it here because this is all this is always gonna be my home because this is where my mother is and home is where your heart is. Yep. So my mama lives here. <laughs> oh no, this mother is the one who introduced us to Nairobi. Now we think we are in Nairobi. Hi. Thank you for the support. And all the, you've been reading all the comments. Thank you for support. Yeah, my mom. Thank you for supporting us. You've seen all those messages. Yeah, all I've seen comments. those messages and the comments. Yes. Thank you. What have you been doing to your skin that is that fine? What do you do to your skin? Mama, what are you doing? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just you water. Avocado. Just mm. water. That's the water and the oil, oil too. Mm. So. No. <laughs> yeah, so yes, guys. I don't know what else to talk about. Do you like it here? Why don't you like it here? Why do you find yourself living in Nairobi? Me. Yes, number one is why do you find yourself living? Like, not living. Why do you like <coughs> Nairobi? Because it's not that we hate Nairobi, we actually love it. There's love no difference there. between here and there. The only difference is Nairobi noise pollution. Yeah. And the Nini. 
I think there's no uh, like there's no very expensive by the way in Nairobi. You know here we are just living rent free and food is there in the shamba. Yeah, the we farm. just go and pick. You guys have you watched our videos? Have you watched <coughs> all things African Nana? But there she's a YouTuber also. Yes. Yeah. So go and look at her videos. She's cooking. We we get our produce, produce from the farm from, directly. Direct from the farm, organic fresh food. organic food, and we cook it mm. on three fire stones. I don't know what it is with like cooking on firewood the food is much tasty and we don't even put any spice on it guys yeah just natural spices and uh, okay Reiko and th but that's it mm. so yeah guys watch catch up on, on all my videos yeah. so basically that's the reason why I left Nairobi the yeah, yeah. bills kept on piling up and yes of course I was looking at houses <coughs> in Nairobi and the houses are so expensive and not worth it they're not worth it that yes. so I made just uh, our ha our house our farmhouse uh, it has like it's 30 uh, 32 years old by the way that house the mm. ceiling is getting the ceiling is I, I want to like if, even if this video goes viral I get like I think it's like maybe hundred thousand Kenyan shillings mm. That's like a thousand dollars to fix the ceiling. Yeah. So instead of like moving out, I'm thinking of like re renovating. The ceiling, renovating the ceiling on our house because <coughs> there's also a bat living in the ceiling but now. You know, they normally say an old house bat was an issue called you. Yeah, so yes. So that's a, an urgent thing we need to do. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, we are uh, yeah, and then maybe I'll make because it's a four bedroom house. So maybe I will will make one of the rooms a studio. Not maybe. Yes, I'll make one of the rooms a like studio. A studio. <coughs> yeah, so that I'll be shooting content, all those good stuff for you. Yeah, and hopefully like this thing. Yeah, I see a future in YouTube, and that's why I'm so thankful because many people in Nairobi, if my sister included, she has lost her job. She doesn't like seeing. She doesn't, she doesn't, yeah, she, she has not like lost her job, but the job is closed till like this all this pandemic is gone, then they'll reopen. It's the hospitality industry, you guys know the hospitality industry in Kenya. It has it is the number one thing that has suffered, yeah, during this. It uh, any facilities have been closed down, yeah, so they have really suffered. So yeah, so I'm thinking this is going to be an option. I'm not the person who likes to sit down and feel pity for myself. I like I like doing something. If I can do something, if I can change my situation, I will. If I can't change it, I'll learn how to live with it. Exactly. I don't like being stressed or and depressed. Negative. Yeah. <coughs> you accept the situation however it however is. It is. So, so guys, this is what I was telling you about the ceiling. You see that? Yeah, they are old. We need to change them. This is a project I'm looking to do. Okay, then someone else say that. Kemunto, yoni aibu wachaku ni 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 tuaje wachaku wachaku waga kwa mabati. Guys, we have a bathroom. No, and a toilet. And a toilet. Yeah, but they are down. Like I'll show you also. So we just like using that one because it's just near. Mm -hmm. And also we are planning maybe to make. I don't know. I don't think it's nice to make it in the house when we don't have like a water supply consistently. So. Like even like bathing outside is nice. Like why am I even apologizing? Bathing outside is the real deal. Okay, I we like it. it. You yeah yes. I saw even some Jamaican sisters. They say like our routines here in the homestead is like the same in the Jamaican country. So yeah, like when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. Okay, yes. So. <laughs> Oh yeah guys so watch all my I have all my farm series on a playlist watch it uh, well where will it post I think they'll post over here and subscribe also go to my sister all things African Nana 
to subscribe and watch her video you guys have been asking if you are sisters or if you, or if you are not she has a video i think she will be by the time i post it she will already have posted it it's okay so yeah <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.